Welcome back to the How to Podcast series. My name is Dave. Happy to be back with you again. Now, I'm going to switch gears here a little bit. Uh, I've been list- I listen to a heck of a lot of podcasts uh, in my in my downtime. I work a night shift to support my business that I run during the day. Yes, I don't sleep much, uh, so I'm not going to be sponsored by any beds anytime soon uh, or mattresses. Um, but running a podcast can be one of two things, engaging or disengaging. Now, what do I mean by that? You're going to have to stick around, find out. You're on the How to Podcast series. There we go. Engaging podcasts and disengaging podcasts. What does this mean? Do you know how to drive standard? I have a uh, six-speed car manual transmission. I love driving standard. Why? Because I get to control what gear I'm in. I get to drive the car instead of sitting on a sofa or couch or Chesterfield and holding a steering wheel and boring as that is driving automatic. I, I tell people I don't know how to drive automatic and I get this weird look on their face. I like to be engaged in the act of driving and that's why I drive standard manual transmission. Like the good old days when you actually had to drive. It's fun. I enjoy it. I get a kick out of it. I love driving standard. Why am I saying this? In a podcast episode, this is why. I'm f- When you would drive standard, you engage the clutch and disengage the clutch when you're driving. And, and there's a visual component to that that comes to mind, if you've ever driven standard, that applies directly to podcasting. So an engaged podcaster is someone that engages with your audience. You're in gear, you've connected, everything's working together, and you are engaged with your customer, your, your listener. They're actually feel like the listener feels like they're a part of your world. You feel like you're a part of their world. There's a bridge. There's a communication going on. Even though it's weird to be talking to a microphone by yourself in the basement, you're engaged with a listener. Listeners are listening and they're part of your world. A disengaged podcaster will it'll kind of sound like this a little bit and get my papers in here you're 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 disengaged you ready hello my name is david campbell i have a podcast i am happy to have you here today i have a guest today who will talk to you about podcasting and how to podcast this is the just a second turn the page this is the how to podcast series thank you for listening to me talk on a podcast thank you i have listened to some podcasts where i feel like it's more of an audible book i didn't sign up for an audible book i signed up for a podcast i love to hear my podcast host be a real person not reading from a script, not interviewing guests and not interacting with their guests. People, podcasters are out to create an audience, a community, and be real people. Now, I understand if you're nervous about recording your voice, and I understand that you might need a guide, a script, that's fine. But how you present your thoughts. Think of a speaker on a stage with a microphone and a crowd sitting in the seats. If there's no engagement, if there's no eye contact, if there's no um, bringing the audience into the topic, the audience will not feel connected with you. You won't feel connected with them. And there's a missed opportunity here. I've left podcasts. I've unfollowed podcasts. Because the podcast host hadn't done the reps and put the time in to get to know their guest, didn't put their time in to get to know their audience, and they approach it as a must-do, have-to-do, to-do list, checklist on their list of items for the day instead of pouring their heart into it. Being a podcaster does not mean you need to be perfect. 
Doesn't mean you need to be polished. Doesn't mean you have to have thousands of dollars worth of equipment. Doesn't mean you have to have professionals who do all the work for you and you pay them a handsome fee to do so. Doesn't mean you need a team in some other country where you pay them pennies to do your work. That is not required for you to have a podcast. A podcast is all about you being a real person with all of your foibles, all of your mistakes, all of your ums, your ahs, your ands, your, all of those things that make you you, that's what people are coming for. That's who people are showing up for. And if you are hung up on reading a script to your audience, uh, hung up on having the best gear, hung up on having the best guests, and you won't take a chance, I think you're missing an opportunity. So my challenge to you today, listening to this podcast, whether you have one episode, maybe you have no episodes, maybe you have one episode, you have 5,000 episodes, you have one listener, you have 100,000 listeners. It doesn't matter. What I'm asking from you, for, for you and from you today is to show up as you, your true self, with all of your hang-ups, all, all of the things that make you you, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and create a podcast that connects with a person, a person that's listening to your voice. That is a true podcaster in my books. Might not be in your books, but it's in my books. And that's who I listen to as a podcast listener, is somebody who takes the time to get to create something that I would be interested in, delivers it on a regular basis, and creates community around their topic. That's what I'm looking for as an audience member. So if you're trying to figure out, how do I do this? I just gave it to you. Show up. Be you. Forget the filters. Forget all the perfection. Hit record. Post this to you, to your server to get your feed out there into the world. Get listeners around your message and grow from there. Don't let something stop you from sharing your message. Don't. You have exactly everything you need to reach the next person. And if you reach one person, one person, think about that. If you reach one person with your message, would you not be satisfied with that? A recent podcast episode that I did on a topic that was very meaningful to my family. I had a guest on. We shared our conversation, posted it out to social media. The guest had an incredible transform, transformational interaction with a family member based on their guesting on my podcast. And it built a bridge within their own family. That wasn't my intent on having this guest come on my podcast. I wanted to talk, focus on our audience. But my guest benefited personally from coming on my show and being able to share their heart in a genuine way to my audience. It only matters if it helps one person. And you can do this. This is the How to Podcast series. We're here to help you. If you need help, reach out. I'm here to help you. I've helped others. I'll help you. Let's talk. You got this. The How to Podcast series. Thank you for listening. Talk soon.